All right, in this video, I want to go over how to write in the packet and how to do some of the other things like color in, um, just in case you get stuck. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find a worksheet that I wanna do. Now, here's the first little worksheet, which is a puzzle. If I want to find a word, here I found one, I'm gonna highlight it, um, third variable. And what I'm gonna do here, you could highlight it if you wanted to, uh, but the highlight is gonna look weird. Um, if you want to get a little bit more technical, you can always add a shape. I do that by going to insert and then looking for shapes. And you could choose whatever you want, square or a rectangle um, or an oval. And so I'm going to take my oval and put it over the word that I want. And now it's covering it. So uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to come back here and change the shape fill to no fill. And if you want to make your oval a little thicker, you can do that by just making it thicker. Again, I, now I'm coming to shape outline. And I'm going to change the weight so that it's a little bit thicker okay and you can just play with that if you want to okay again don't feel like you have to spend too much time on this if you are fine doing the highlighter great just go ahead and do it like that um, when you are going to write in the packet however i would like you to choose a different color um, that makes it a little bit easier for me to grade your work versus um, the actual worksheet. And so now, you know, when I come here, it'll just have a different color. Now, when you get to a page like this one, sometimes, well, you can't write on this because it's just like a picture. Now, you can go back to insert and insert a text box, and you could just choose one there. Um, and put it right on top and, you know, fill it in. Okay. Now, some of the other ones down here, you'll just be able to just write under the question. Now, this is the one that is going to mess you up a little bit here, which is the coloring. Um, some students just print it out and color it, and that's great. But you have a few options here as well. Um, you can come to the draw option and then just choose something. So this is a highlighter, and now I can choose this highlighter to highlight a specific portion, and I should be able to change the color as well. So um, let me just come here. It's asking to you know, paint the frontal lobe red. So I'm gonna choose red, and I'm gonna color in the frontal lobe here, okay? And there are a few color in um, assignments, so you should feel free to use that. Um, if worse comes to worse, let's say that your version of Word just doesn't have draw and you can't find it, well, you know what? Let's go back to insert, and I can just do a little text box. Right. Frontal lobe in it. Um, I'm going to have to. Uh, change the layout and I'm going to put it in front, all right, in front of text. And now I can take my little box and just put it where it belongs. I would do this as a last resort because when you're studying, the color really does help. It helps pop. It helps you remind you um, what you were coloring uh, in a few weeks ago, etc. So um, I definitely suggest that you do the coloring. For worksheet uh, 13 and 14, um, you get asked to put in pictures from the internet. And uh, I'm going to show you just very quickly. So let's say that I'm going to decide that for the motor cortex, who reminds me of the motor cortex? Well, I'm going to say uh, that He-Man does. Wow, that's really big. That's a really big picture. All right, so what I want to do is I want to make this smaller again, uh, as small as this one so that it fits nicely into my column. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to picture format and then I'm gonna click on my He-Man 
And you'll see here that um, in the right-hand side, uh, it tells me sort of the width and the height there. Well, I want my height to be 1.8, okay? And you'll notice that it automatically changes the other one for me. Usually, it'll be around 1.44, the other one. But in order to maintain the dimensions, the computer just changes it for me. And now it fits a little bit better. Again, in this one, it's hard to write in it because it's just a picture. So if you go back to insert and find a text box, and then you can just put the text box wherever you want.